I mean, sometimes y'all boyfriends do be giving me money, and they do be paying for shit for me. But other than that, I don't be like, I don't be texting y'all. I don't be talking to them. You know, y'all ain't got to worry about that. I don't be fucking up. Y'all don't have to worry about that part. But spending his money, most definitely. Like, I most definitely be spending somebody's boyfriend money. Well, a lot of people's, a lot of somebody's boyfriends. But, yeah. So, we cool, right? <laughs> an argument can be made for you giving your woman, your girlfriend, your wife, a weekly allowance, a monthly allowance. But if you out here giving money outside the crib, outside your relationship, to a chick that's not even letting you turn the faucet on. Playing the pipe, she ain't even letting you turn the faucet on. Nah, brother, you a simperoni pizza. In my comments calling me a self-hating gay, I have a question for you. So what do I do as the parent that's raising a child in a gay household? And if I allowed him to see me kissing and having affection with another man, since y'all feel like that's so important, what do you do when that little boy that has seen you kiss a man in the mouth and hold his hand and do all that cuddle lovey-dovey shit, what do you do when your little boy goes over to somebody else's house and he does it because he thinks that it's okay when it's really not? And now somebody want to harm my baby or they whooping on him or mistreating him because they're calling him gay. What do you do then? When do y'all don't get it through your head that it's just not okay and it's the time and the place that doesn't make me a self-hating gay that does not make me not love myself this gay just ain't that important to the point where my kid has to see it what about his well-being huh that's my question for y'all that's always in my comments asking me or telling me what i should and shouldn't be doing why is this gay shit that important huh can we give a round of applause for this young man. I feel as though it's a lot of gay folks that feel this way but don't want to go against the community. And when I say feel this way, I mean forcing the lifestyle on kids or forcing the lifestyle on people. I want to say I'm blessed that the gay folks that I've been around, they're cool. I've had conversations with gay co-workers. It's a dude that, that used to come play ball. Gay as hell, but he nice as shit. <laughs> I'm going to say that. <laughs> he gay as hell, but he'll whoop, whoop. He'll hit you with some moves. Pause. But I've had conversations with these people, bro, and they'll say that sometimes they feel as though their community is doing too much. I'm not big on the conspiracy theories, but at the same time, I do feel as though we need to let our kids have a choice. Like, let them make their own decision instead of forcing it on them because kids are very impressionable. I know that for a fact. I have a six-year-old son. Everything that I like, my son likes. I like playing basketball. My son, I take my son to the basketball court with me. Now he wants to play basketball. I love cars. I've always loved cars. I have a sports car. My son get on Roblox and has this exact same car that I have. I personally feel as though the way me and my wife interact, it rubs off on him because I see him go out there and the way he talk to these ladies and stuff like that. And I'm like, okay, you know, you're your daddy's son. You're your daddy's son. He probably a little more charming than me, to be honest. If he was up, he'd be able to go here, all right, in front. He can go on the side, nothing he can do. You go on the other side, nothing he can do. But if you're, <laughs> not trying to do this, if you're over here, you know, if he wanted to, he's a good boy. He, he could easily reach me. Same thing with people who go back here. You know, you're taking a tremendous risk because you need someone on the other side to distract them. And if you don't have that, if you're alone and you're here, I hope he doesn't kill me, but... <sighs> Come on. The lower I go, Come on, dog. the stupider I am. Why, so why are you doing it? I'm lucky here. Why are you doing this it? This is a very bad idea. See, he's turning. He's, tur he's turning. Why are you doing if it? If he was up. I can't even say white folks are fearless no more because Tarzan be doing stuff like this. So back in the day, when I used to have dreams about snakes, I used to take it as my ancestors warning me that somebody around me isn't for me. Actually, I'll tell y'all a story. I used to be around certain people and I used to always dream about snakes. A lot of weird situations happened in that time. And then once I left that environment, those dreams about snakes were gone, completely gone. You start dreaming about snakes, you gotta look around your environment and see who might not be for you. Because your ancestors might be warning you. Somebody in your circle has venom in their fangs and they're ready to bite. We are 10,000 subscribers away from 100K. <laughs> 
I still know it's a few of y'all that watch these videos religiously that aren't subscribed. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. And make sure you got the notification bell selected to all. That way you can get all the notifications when I upload these videos. Stop playing with me. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get right. You ask, what's the difference between dating some black men and the white men? Well, the white man is going to call you and invite you out. The black man is going to text you, good morning, beautiful, hello, gorgeous, what you doing? The white man is going to take you to a very nice dinner and pay for it. The black man is going to ask you, what you cooking? Can I come over? The white man is going to take you to get your tire fixed and pay for it. The black man is going to tell you, you need to get your tire fixed. I just had to get that out of my system because as a black man who's married, who have friends, who are other black men, who are in relationships, I know numerous occasions where we fix the tires our damn self. Now I'm not saying white dudes don't fix tires. If you have a preference, it's okay, but you don't need to put one group of people down to make your preference seem like it's gold. I have friends who like white women. I don't care. Why y'all hate us so much? Not, not y'all, because I'm not going to put that on everybody. Why do some of y'all hate us so much. If you've had two bad experiences with black men, maybe you need to change the type of black men you're dating. That goes for us men as well. I don't know that date only ratchet bitches and then complain at the end of the day. You only dating the ratchets, but you wonder why she always asking you for money to pay her bills. You wonder why she always at the club. You wonder why she's always in somebody's face. You wonder why you're always in some type of drama. Because you dating ratchets. Things like this is dangerous. I hate when I see videos of people not just women, people trying to pit one race against the other. I, I hate that. Because just like how she talking, it's on the internet talking about black women the same way. Maybe you need to change the type of black women you're dating. Ma'am, maybe you need to change the type of black men you're dating. The white man is going to buy you a very special gift for your birthday. The black man is going to disappear and call you after your birthday. The white man is going to be very impressed by your education and your personal accomplishments. The black man is going to be intimidated by your education and your personal accomplishments. The white man is going to raise his kid, take care of his kid, spend quality time with his kid. The black man is going to get you pregnant and abandon you and the kid. The white man wants a relationship that leads to marriage and family. The black man wants a situationship that leads to nothing. The white man is going to date you, propose to you, and then marry you. The black man is going to shack up with you and play house with you. The white man is going to be clear in his communication when it comes to you. You have to be careful who you follow on the internet. You have to be careful what stage you are in in your life. Meaning if you're going through a breakup, some type of heartbreak, a divorce, and you just having disdain because in your mind you just feel as though she did me so wrong and all women are gonna do me wrong. And if you're going through that, it, that goes for women as well. Sometimes you find yourself going through that and you start typing things up on the internet, how to deal with a breakup, how to deal with a broken heart, how to get women. And you start going through the rabbit hole and you start finding content like this. And depending on where you at in your life, this content will fuel that fire. It's a lot of content creators I see saying things, they're borderline, they're borderline creating cults. They're borderline creating cults that hate women. On the flip side, they're creating cults that hate men. Some of these people speak very well. They know how to articulate what they're saying. They know how to convey that message to you. And it might seem harmless. And for you, based on what stage you are in your life right now, whatever it is you're going through, you might feel as though you need that. I want you to think about it this way. Hitler was able to convince a nation that it was okay to commit genocide. 
I still can't smell oh, it. Oh, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but I was caught off guard by your beauty. I can't lie. Oh, wow. That looked crazy as hell. No, you look beautiful. What's your name? Christy. Christy? Okay, about G. Where are you from, though? I'm Dominican. Oh, Dominican Republic? Okay, I'm Mexican. Okay, that's yeah. Cool. That's pretty dope. Is there any way I get to know you? Um, I can give you my Instagram, that's okay. I don't have Instagram. Yeah. That man is definitely capping, talking about he don't have Instagram. But here we go again with the Instagram. I feel as though Instagram is way more personal. Just give somebody your number. Just carry a conversation. I personally don't like to text. But yeah, let me call you on the phone. Let's talk. Let's set up a date. But y'all doing the Instagram thing, and y'all think you could block somebody on Instagram. But then again, depending on how crazy the person is, they can create a whole new profile. I can go through your stories on Instagram and figure out what you're doing, when you're doing it. We have seen instances of celebrities losing their lives because they've posted on Instagram and people were able to figure out where they were at. If it's that serious, man, get you a Google number. I get your number? Give me my Instagram. Damn, I don't got Insta though. Damn. I can't get your number? My number's to strangers. I gotta fill you out first on Instagram. Gee, what you wish? I mean, I don't be using it, but. You gotta start using it because I'm even. Alright, then for sure. A win is a win. Oh, oh, a win is a win. I don't care what y'all say. A win is a win. Very, very good question. Alright, then for sure. I work a lot. Oh, you work? Preparing for the ass care right now. Alright, then for sure. I mean, I guess a win is a win. But I mean, you really win if you get her Instagram. You really winning because let's say you have a huge following on Instagram. Believe it or not, clout goes a long way. I'm beginning to see that now too because my Instagram is getting up there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Go follow me on the gram at Over Those Lads. But let me ask y'all a question, fellas. This is for the single fellas, and you know, if you used to be on them streets, I guess you can answer it too. Where was your go-to when you wanted to pick up women? And don't say the club. Do not say the club. My go-to was the mall. But that was really, you know, I had no choice. I worked at the mall. I, get, I don't know if that count, but I used to, you know, that was, my, that was my stomping grounds. But from what I've seen, Target, Whole Foods, the beauty spot stores up in the air because there's a chance you might catch you a ratchet. Walmart, you're definitely going to catch you a ratchet. Women with substance. The ladies of substance be shopping at Target, Whole Foods, Trader Joe's. Somebody gonna come for my neck. Well, I shop at Walmart. Ain't nothing wrong with Walmart. Man, go on the internet and type in Walmart. See the type of shit you see on Walmart. But my man asked me for five bands, ten bands, right 10, now. 11, 30, 40, 50. Nah. You got it, baby. Whatever you need. Whatever. Y'all all be asking the top of some fucking 50 50. Bitch, your mind ain't even go 50 50 with him. I got you, baby. That's, yeah. Oh my God. I said it's on my lap. I swear to God. I'm gonna do all this. If you in love with somebody and they need you to go 50 50 with them, 75, 50, whatever the that's what I'm talking about. 75, 25, all that. Even, even sometimes you gotta step and do. They, you gotta do 90, they gotta do 10. That's what we're asking. What is coming? I ain't gonna lie. With me and Kai, that's how we was raised. You gotta take care of the household. It's not even about the men, it's about the household. It's about the household. So, whatever your household needs, you take care of it. And that's why, again, everybody be like, oh, I need me a Kai and Kai. Bitch, I'm young. I'm not, I already said this. I told you, I'm not easy. I'm not easy at all. Listen, as I, a friend, I'm she's two like, hands full, ankles, feet, all that full. As a girlfriend, and I'm emotional. She's like, <laughs> she's like, if y'all ask one, if Kai is easy, you're going to be like, no. She's a lot. But Your woman is willing to go against what's popular right now, which is. Oh, I'm not going 50 50 with a man. If your chick is willing to go 75 25 with you, that's wifey material. Now, hear me out. If she's going 75 25 with you, you need to be getting your shit together so that you can pay her back in the long run. 75 25 don't mean, oh, my baby got it. I'm going to chill and be comfortable. No. You shouldn't be chilling. You should be out here working, creating some type of motion so you can take care of that situation and repay that woman. Because she don't have to. She don't have to go 75, 25 with you. It's somebody out here that, that'll trick on her. It's somebody out here that'll pay 100% of that as long as she giving them cookies up. This is my new favorite side dish. Add three cans of Pringles to a boiling pot of water. Now give it a good stir. You're going to add in some chopped onion, garlic, and paprika. Also turmeric if you'd like. Stir and then mash. Pour the mixture through a strainer and then add it back to your pot. Season it with butter, a little bit of milk, garlic powder, and onion powder. Give that a good stir. I also like to grate some Parmesan cheese on top. Once it's all mixed, it looks like this. Top it with some chopped parsley. 
grab yourself a bowl, take a bite, and enjoy. This is so easy and so good. You got to try it. This is my new favorite. So your ass couldn't just go to the store and buy you some potatoes? You couldn't have went to the store and bought you some potatoes? I'm not, mm, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. White folks, I love you guys, man. I, I love y'all. I'm going to be honest with you. I, I work with a lot of white folks, and I, I love y'all. When I, when I grew up in New York, the only white folks I used to be around were my teachers. When I came out here and I moved to the South, I started, you know, interacting more with white people. And I have a, a profound respect for y'all because y'all know how to have fun. That's one thing I'm going to say is y'all motherfuckers know how to have some fun. But don't invite me to your house for Thanksgiving. Do not invite me to your house for Thanksgiving. Because it may not be you. It may not be you. But I'm pretty sure you have a family member out there that might come to the house that's going to bring some shit like this. I know, come on now, I know that you have a family member that be experimenting like this and her husband just going along with it. We be out here talking about black men get with white women and be in the sunken place. These white dudes be in the sunken place too. He know how she gonna get if he don't eat that mother. Some y'all are gonna like this, right? But fellas, y'all gotta stop making it seem like y'all bigger than what y'all offer these females. You cannot afford to take care of her or to take her out the life she's in and put her in the palace and do all these things so stop acting like it y'all start talking to a female y'all buying flashy gifts that i can't keep up with y'all spending money on cars and tri trips that y'all can't keep up with you got this girl thinking that this is what she should be accustomed to when she's dealing with you now she's dealing with you y'all been rocking for a while and the shit just stops She's not understanding. Why are you not still doing the things you used to do? Why are you not doing the things that you did to get me to keep me? Instead of telling her the truth, baby, I ain't got it like that. I just did all those things I want to show you, type of things that I can do for you on certain occasions, but I can't keep it up like that. Mm -hmm. Be honest. R yeah. It's not even about dating your tax bracket. Just stop lying. Stop, stop lying. Stop putting false narratives. Stop. Get you somebody that just want to talk, man. Get you somebody that don't mind going to the Cheesecake Factory. For those who know I live in Atlanta, you see a lot of that in Atlanta. It's a lot of faking it till you making it in Atlanta. No, don't sleep. It's a lot of people out here getting money. But at the same time, it's a lot of people, dudes in particular, it's a lot of dudes that's getting money out here, but can't keep the money because they're trying to impress these females. Bro. Oh, hell no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before he said what he about to say, bro, I drive skid steers at my job. That's not a skid steer. But I can only imagine how heavy that bucket is. I know I'm comparing two different mobile equipments, but... That is strong as hell. What we need to understand on this app, okay? Instagram, Facebook, MySpace, it don't matter. There's a lot of folks with their tucked-in cowboy boots and cowboy hats on here talking about... I'm a country boy. Yes. Yes, cousin. Yes, we are. We are country boys. So let's stop categorizing ourselves with these country men he out here working and just picked up a billion pounds on his shoulder like it was nothing. Muffin, are you kidding me? Bro. I know my place on a farm and in life. Let me do paperwork. Hand me a shovel, a light one. Some of y'all shovels get a little crazy. I'll hot wire a tractor for you, brother. Okay. But as soon as you got me bailing hay with Shenandoah Shrek, oh hillbilly Hulk, I'm going to meet the Lord. ASAP. Hold on. Hillbilly Hulk is crazy. <laughs> hillbilly Hulk is crazy. <laughs> Rocky, I know my place. I'm a country boy. Hillbilly Hulk is crazy. <laughs> No, I don't think y'all understand, bro. One of them buckets is heavy as hell. Because the kitchen didn't do anything else. I hope your parents keep you better. Oh. <laughs> Me either. That was a joke, right? Was that a joke? I don't know. Kids and bills to pay at home. And then I have to pass out and tip on what you didn't even tip on. Well, everybody else has to tip too. Okay, but you paid too little. Then let's read all. I didn't pay too 
They young, so they don't understand. One of my biggest pet peeves, and I know I have a lot of pet peeves, but people that don't tip well. I think it's because I understand. And a lot of people don't understand. Or some people understand, but just don't care. If you have a huge bill, especially some a situation like that, she paid for two tables. Think about how many people you just saw in that video that were all together in that party. She had to bring food out for all of them. She had to serve all of them. And only got $3. That is ridiculous. Now, the way they put it on the internet, I see this is part one. I don't, damn. <sighs> this is part one. I don't know where part two is at. I don't know where part two is at. Ma'am, I hope you didn't put hands on nobody. I hope you didn't put hands on nobody because I'm defending you. What's up, wife? Hey, husband. How are you? I'm good. I'm working on my video. Say hi to the people. Hey, people. How are y'all? <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're good. You drive home? I am. I just wanted to give you a heads up that I'm on my way home. She said you weren't the best on fire. You're trying to watch your life. Yeah, I got you. I ain't gonna lie. I kind of started late on the video. So when you come home, I might still be editing. But I should be done. It shouldn't take more than an hour from when you get home. Don't occupy, don't occupy yourself too much now. You know what I'm saying? No. You got other oh, things you need to occupy. Oh, oh, we're fine. Okay. We're, okay. Same sky. You know, I'm going to be reading a book solving a puzzle, doing something. Working on my business. Oh, okay, well. I got a puzzle you can solve. Cool, that puzzle is so complex, but you know, I'm always up on a challenge. Mm. Mm. Ooh, I like the way that. Ooh, okay. I like the way that sounds. That you do. Mm -hmm. Yo, speaking of salvage, you know people be eating ears out? They be eating what? Ears. Like people ears out? They be eating people ears out? Yeah, she, this girl was like, you ain't never um, experienced an orga orgasm if you ain't had your ear ate out. I was like, what? We eating out ears out? Then I was reading the comments and was like, yeah, oh my God, it felt so good. I was like, any open hole you won't put your tongue in. Damn. We definitely about to probably be all fucking aliens. I mean, I'll be I'll be nibbling on earlobes, but what what you mean eating yeah, no, it? No, that's, like that's like the hole? Zero. Like going in the hole? I'm thinking so because nibbling the ant is not eating it out. Not the same thing. Then was like why you giving oral? You if you if you have long arms, you can massage the air while you sucking. I was like, oh, okay, oh, right. Hello. Uh. Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm here. I just, you just, uh, you just threw me threw me for a loop. I was. Um... That's what the streets is talking about. That's what the freaking streets is talking about now. That's what the streets is talking about. Mm-hmm. You trying to take an Uber to that street? Mm-mm. Not today. No, nah, not today. Oh. Yeah, one of these days. Yeah, one of these days. Yeah, one of these days. Maybe the second one I told you. Yeah, I was talking about the second one. Ain't nobody. I okay. ain't. Uh, hold on now. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't trying to go on no air. I ain't trying to go on no air wax diet. Fuck, I'm good. Yeah, I ain't trying to go with no earwax. Your arms, I don't know if your arms long enough. Girl. I know. We can figure out a position. And, oh, man, speaking of arms, somebody in the comments, maybe they was trolling, but they look like they're eating armpits out, too. All right, see, all right, you're doing too much. Okay, I'm going to see you when you get in the house, all right? Okay, that's All right, all right, all right. Peace. 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 Peace.